Okay, so in this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to be smooth in your bowing. Um, so this is, when you think about getting to the end of your bow stroke and going the other direction, this is a way to get away from that K, the K sound. So if everything over here is stiff, um, it, it'll come out, you can hear it. Um, so what we want to do, here's the end result, what we're after, and we'll cover this in a couple of different lessons, just short exercise lessons. Um, but the idea is that when you go to the end of your bow, stroke up bow, your wrist and your fingers kind of act as shocks, and your bow continues to go forward just a hair before you come back down. The same is true when you get to the bottom of the bow stroke. So what we're going to do is we're going to create kind of like bow shocks. All right. So there's a lot of stuff going on that, that has to happen for that to sound right. First off, um, you have to have a good bow hold, so check that tutorial out if you, if you haven't yet. Um, secondly, you can't grip the bow very, very tightly. Um, there has to be some flexibility in these fingers, so getting comfortable holding the bow without dropping it um, is important before you start these exercises. So if you're afraid you're going to drop your bow, you can always go get like a quarter inch round dowel from a hardware store, pretend that's your bow, and just get comfortable with it. Okay, so with that in mind, let's look at the first part of this technique. Um, so I'll give you a couple of exercises just to work on the finger part of it. All right? Okay, so before you start with the bow, I want you to try something just with your hand and your wrist and your fingers. So the idea is when you raise up, you pull your fingers in, and when you lower the hand down, you put the fingers away. Okay, so that looks like this. So what I want you to do is take your bow and get a good bow hold and put your arm, the forearm, on your knee. And that should your wrist should extend beyond your knee just a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to raise up and drop down. All the while we're going to keep the bow as straight upright as you can. Okay, so up, down. You're probably going to feel like you're going to drop your bow. That's okay. Uh, not dropping your bow, but it's okay to feel that way. So what's going on here is as I raise up, my fingers press in towards the inside of my wrist. And as I drop down, that keeps the bow straight up and down. And as I drop those fingers down, they go away from my, the center of my palm. Okay, so up, they come close to the palm down, away from the palm. Try that. Try 10 in a row, up and down, keeping your bow straight. So that's what that looks like. All right, so now that you've got that, the last thing we're going to do before we put the bow to the string is practice this with bow strokes straight up and down in the air. And that's going to force us to use this technique that we're working on. So the idea is to keep your bow completely straight. Start at the bottom. Okay, so your wrist should be bent a little bit. Your fingers should be away from the center of your palm. And as you go up, you want to keep the bow straight, okay, and your wrist will bend and your fingers will come in towards the center of your palm. Okay, as you go down, keeping that bow straight, or as straight as possible, your fingers flex away from you and your wrist bends up. Okay, so this is a good, and I'm doing short bow strokes here, but this is a good way to remind yourself, bow straight, flex those fingers, move the wrist. Okay. So you might get somebody to help you with that and, and create a circle for you to um, place the bow through. Okay. Again, you know, this may be basic stuff. Um, you may feel very comfortable with your bow hold and your bow technique, but I do recommend just exploring this because it can help you become a very smooth player. At the end of the day, all of this action is what will make you a great player. Okay. And that's what we're trying to build here. All right, with that, let's try this on the fiddle. Okay, so grab your bow, grab your fiddle. Let's play in the A string. We'll start with an up bow. So your wrist down here is bent, okay, back up. 
and you're going to, as you raise up bow, get all the way to the top and stop before you do anything. Okay, just go that far and now throw your fingers forward a little bit. Okay, so I'm, we're breaking this down. Um, it's not how you're going to do it when you actually play, but I want to separate that movement throwing the fingers forward at the very end of that up bow. So try that. Okay, we're going to try it down now, and we're going to do it the same at the bottom, but it's a little more tough down here. Stop. Throw the fingers away. Okay, one more time up. Stop. Move your fingers. Okay, so your wrist and your fingers move at the same time. Okay, another thing that you can try is just center the bow. So your bow, you want to keep straight, 90 degrees from those uh, strings, but you're just moving it with the wrist and finger action. I'm not moving my arm or my forearm at all. Okay. So the idea is... Okay, so there's some basic right hand technique for you. Um, it's really frustrating if you don't know how to do it, so don't give up. Just keep working on it and uh, that will make you a better, smoother player. There you go.